LaMelo Ball has been a hot topic recently, not for what he's done, but for what he's not done. The kid had it all when he was 15, a full ride to a D1 school, a national championship, a top 10 ranking in his class. He was a surefire NBA prospect, and now, there's legitimate talk about him not even making the NBA. It's time to really say the truth about LaMelo Ball. What is up dudes, dudettes, ballers, players, it's your boy MJ. LaMelo Ball has always been interesting because of what he was around. Seeing a 14 year old make headlines on a Chino Hills team that was taking over a nation with three brothers, all with NBA potential and at the same time, a 14 year old keeping up with an NBA prospect in Lonzo Ball? excited me so much and the nation went head over heels for LaMelo and LaVar. And that was the beginning of LaMelo's downfall. He's in his senior year now and time's running short. Let's go through a little timeline to understand LaMelo Ball. LaMelo became a point guard slash shooting guard for Chino Hills at the age of 13. He would go through the season turning the age of 14 and helping Chino Hills achieve a perfect 35-0 record with Lonzo and Leangelo. He won co-freshman of the year and was indeed ranked among the top 5 of his class. It was also amazing to see a 5'10 14 year old give meaningful minutes on a championship team with an unorthodox shot and a smooth game. For context, this was also the time Julian Newman had his most hype. Huh. Go figure. The next season, Lonzo left for college and the fast paced Chino Hills team was left to LaMelo and LiAngelo. And with a slight growth spurt to 6'2, LaMelo was a force to be reckoned with. He scored 92 points in the game and was thrust into the national spotlight. He also made the half court shot. Yeah, the shot. Not that one, this one. The future seemed bright for him, he was developing more and more, his handle was effective, he could get a shot up however and whenever he wanted, and he was a shot maker. Of course there were concerns too, his defense seemed non-existent, his shot selection was iffy and there were questions about his work ethic. That season of Chino Hills basketball was even crazier because they went even faster paced and shot more threes. All that culminated into a playoff loss to Mar Day where LaMelo missed 23 pointers in a game. Wow. And then headlines showed worry in LaMelo and LiAngelo and whether the system that LeVar Ball had endorsed was actually hurting his sons. All of this was happening while LaMelo was becoming the most popular 15 year old in the country. His Instagram had over 1 million followers and it was getting into his head. There were already reports of LaMelo not putting enough work. LeVar was already getting mad at LaMelo for not focusing enough. There was the whole LeVar yelling at him after an AU game. Damn LeVar. Then in a JBA with Lonzo getting mad at LaMelo's effort in practice. All I'm gonna say is man, y'all just need to play harder to be honest. Lose by 30. Like that not cool. LaMelo, you know that bro. Got in here laughing like this a joke. To me, to Lonzo, to LeVar, LaMelo has always been the most talented, but it's been a question of whether he would develop into that star that was better than Lonzo. We had already seen glimpses and his shot crane abilities were already there. Heck, even his encore demeanor was similar to Lonzo's, but there were red flags. Like his fight in the JBA tour and his nonchalant attitude when he was abroad in Lithuania. Talent is one thing, but there have been many prospects who relied on their talent alone to get them far enough and failed because they did not want to work hard. LaMelo fell down in rankings and LiAngelo didn't make the NBA leaving less credibility for the Ball family. LaMelo also wiped out his chances for college when he signed the pro contract to play in Lithuania with or without pay, which is a violation of NCAA eligibility rules. He also had a signature shoe and he hired an agent 
agent without USA Basketball ever deeming him elite, and once again, LaMelo should be ineligible. I think Jimmy Howler said well when it comes to LaVar. LaVar was so confident that LaMelo was a generational talent and so he wouldn't need college to go to the NBA. That's why LaVar spurned UCLA and that's also why LaVar said it doesn't matter if LaMelo goes to college. But I think the more important result of LaVar's confidence was that LaMelo himself began to believe that he was that amazing of a player and that added on to his arrogance and complacency. I mean it's one thing to be relaxed during the game and have confidence and it's another when you have that attitude in practice. Now Spire is LaMelo's redemption story. LaMelo does have his eyes set on blue chip colleges. He's received offers from smaller D1 colleges like Alabama A&M, Eastern Michigan, LIU Brooklyn, but we don't know if he's gonna get more offers. I do want to say one thing though, LaMelo Ball is every bit an NBA prospect. I know he plays one year professionally but that only adds to the talent LaMelo is. In Spire, he controls the pace of the game so well. His athleticism is there too. He just doesn't bounce out of the gym in games but he has that potential. His core IQ and awareness are beyond most prospects and at Spire under an actual system and not the LaVar Ball system, LaMelo is more under control. Yeah, he still jacks up crazy deep shots but those are makeable shots for him and he takes smarter shots. He's able to get his teammates involved and set them up in great positions. He has a tight handle and an amazing acrobatic finishing style. He just plays the game with so much control like a maestro. He's also a 6'7 point guard. A 6'7 point Bruh. guard. He would be the third tallest point guard in the NBA today. He just can't be guard right now. He's averaging 21 points, 10.4 assists, 9.2 rebounds per game. But he's not really getting any ranking love as ESPN's ranking for him is still from sophomore year. That means they still haven't updated his ranking in his senior year even though he's playing at Spire Institute. His teammates on Spire are ranked so it doesn't make sense that he's not. No one seems to see LaMelo's improvements or strides he's taken this year to make himself better. In fact, it's the opposite. A lot of people like to hate on LaMelo saying that he never reaches full potential or never will, that he won't make the NBA, that he's an over glorified prospect. But LaMelo is putting in work to inspire practices. He's working on becoming a leader. Just recently during a fight in a game, LaMelo was the one calming his teammate down instead of escalating the issue. That's a lot of maturity at his age in a short period of time compared to the JBA tour when he got into a fight. LaMelo has been in the spotlight at such a young age and I think it's easy to forget that LaMelo is just 17. To call him an over glorified prospect at the age of 17, that's pretty early especially because he has accomplished so much. He has a lot of mental growing to do but all of the skills the physical attributes, they're all there. LeVar is also taking more of a backseat and the media has stopped giving him that importance he once had. All these factors show LaMelo's future to be bright. It's a matter of who believes in him. I do. And that's the truth about LaMelo Ball. Let me know what you think about LaMelo's future and whether you think he'll make the NBA in the comments down below. Drop a like for LaMelo Ball. The Instagram shout of the day goes to Ivan and the all day notification shout goes to Christian Blake. Thanks for the all day support. Make sure to hit the bell for all day notifications and if you're not a sub, hit that subscribe button to join the all day community for more fire content all day support. It's your boy MJ. We out. Spaceship, no, no